Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the problem D1 of Code Forces Global Round 16, which is seating arrangement, easy version. So, so first of all, we discuss the problem statement. The problem statement is that it is a cinema hall in which there are n rows and n columns, means there are n into m total seats. So, what it is given is that there are also n into m uh, people, which uh, and all of them have different level of sight, not different, but all of them have a particular level of sight. Okay. And what you have to do is you have to give better places for people with lower sight levels. Means the people with the lowest sight level should have to give the first place, then the second place, like this. Okay. And there is a term defined which is inconvenience, which means that inconvenience of a person equal to the number of seat occupied he or she will go through. For example, a person uh, is occupied the seat M. So when uh, when he or she will go from, uh, so he, he will see from, should start from here and will go to M. And for example, the seat 1 and 2 is occupied. So he or she will have to uh, go through a first and second and they, they both are occupied. So, so the inconvenience caused by that people is only is 2. So like this is the inconvenience which is defined here. So we have to find the minimum total inconvenience which is caused. Fine. So for that we will for to understand logic we will discuss all the test case. And for discussing test case, we will first discuss this, this test case. So I have already written this test case in my whiteboard. So you can check it here. Uh, you can check it that it is written here. So what uh, uh, I am doing is, uh, what I am doing is, uh, we have to give, uh, we have to place these people in the seats. So here are, uh, uh, there are five people. So we have to make a array of length five. It is five. Okay, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fine. So, it is uh, what uh, we have to do. Now, what uh, is given is we have to place these people here. So, the people, the, the person with the lowest eyesight, which is 1, should have to place first. So, it is 1. And the person with next, we have to place the next, means second. Then, we have to place these two people with the third eye level. And at the last, I have to place this one, which is 5. Okay. But, the person should sit on their respected seat according to this according to this array means first the person this person will go and sit in their his or seat then this person will sit in this respected seat etc so for that so let's say that uh, now the seats are empty okay and we have to place all the persons in their respected seats so what we are doing is we will first place this person so this uh, sorry this person okay so we have placed this person here and let's say i is the inconvenience cost let's say i is the inconvenience cost so i is uh, currently i 0 currently i 0 so, so first of all the inconvenience caused caused by this people so this person the inconvenience is zero because there was no uh, person sitting already so in, inconvenience is zero now this person will sit so for this person the seat uh, the respected seat is this one so he or she will sit here and for him also, there is no inconvenience cause because he or she are, is not going through any seat which is occupied. So then again, the inconvenience is zero. Again, the inconvenience is zero. Next, what we are doing is we have to place this person, which is five, this person uh, here. So for this person has to sit in this seat. So he has to go through the first and second where already two persons are, are seated and then he or she will sit here. So the inconvenience cause this plus two. Understand what I am trying to say? Okay. So now, now the turn is of third, this one. Okay. So then this person will sit some something here. And then this one here. And the inconvenience caused by both the person will be two. Because they have to go through these two seats where already person are seated. Like this. Two plus two. So the total inconvenience is six, which is the answer of this test case. Which is the answer of this test case. So now we, uh, we have to find a formula how to count this number, how to count this 6. So the basically logic is, we, I am writing here again these numbers which is 2, 1, 5, 3, 3. So the, when, when a person is going to sit on his respected seat, then he has to pass through, he has to go through the persons whose eyesight is less than that person. For example, 5 was, uh, uh, five was crossing through 1 and 2. For example, if, if we talk about 2, so there is no person uh, before 2, 
so the uh, inconvenience for 2 is 0 uh, okay i am writing inconvenience here below the number for 1 there is no person before 1 whose eye slide is less than 1 that's why the inconvenience causes 0 there is no person before 1 there is a person before 1 which is 2 but it's its eye side is greater than 1 so it is not counted now take 5 so there are two persons before 5 whose eye side is less than 5 so the inconvenience is 2 now for 3 so there are two persons before 3 whose eye side is less than 3 then the inconvenience causes 2 and there is two person before 3 whose eye side is less than 3 not equal less than 3 it is 2 and the sum is 6 this is the logic which i am trying to say this is the exact logic okay so now we will discuss the next test case also so okay uh, the last one okay so we will discuss the last one also the, the last test case uh, given here is this one which is 232111 okay so we will copy it on here so it is 232111 uh, let's erase this these all okay it is 2, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1. So we have to make an array of 6 for that. Okay, fine. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Array of 6. Okay. So this these persons should sit here. I am writing it above this array. And then second. So this is the required arrangement means a person with uh, uh, you can say low eyesight should uh, sit before the person with uh, greater eyesight. So according to our formula for this the inconvenience causes 0 because there is no 1 before 2. For 3 the inconvenience causes 1. Why 1? Because there is 1 person before 3 whose eyesight is less than 3. Inconvenience was caused by 2 will be 0 because there was there is no person before 2 whose eyesight is less than 2 there is 3 or 2 same for 0 same 0 for this also 0 for this also 0 for this also because there is no person before these numbers before this person whose eyesight is less than this so there is 0 0 0 0 and the answer is the inconvenience is just 1 ok let's check let's check so let's check first of all we have to sit this person so here it is 2 so he seated on this then I have to say third person. So when third person sits on here, he has to cross this two. Okay, he has to cross this two. So that's why there is one uh, in inconvenience. Inconvenience for this person, it will sit here. No inconvenience for this. Sit here. Sit here. Sit here. There is no inconvenience. So the answer is one, and that's the answer also. That's the answer of the test case also. We can check here. So this is what I'm trying to say. So so let's now let's move towards the uh, you can say the code part uh, here is the code part so what I have done is I have just first of all I have input the array then what I have done is I have uh, just started from the from the second person why second person because there is no person before first person so the inconvenience of first person is always zero so I am starting from the second person now I am checking all the persons which are sitting before the, that person which I which we are counting okay so for first person the person uh, the person sitting before the first before the ith person is all the person between 0 to i okay and then i am checking if the i side of that person is less than then then we are, i am incrementing c plus b and just then i am outputting the value of c this is a small code which i have made here so thank you for watching the video i hope you understand what i am trying to say if you have any doubt you can comment down or you can join our telegram to ask your doubt and for post contest discussions you can also subscribe to the channel for competitive programming content. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, like, share, subscribe, comment below, share the video with your friends. Thank you for watching. Thank you.